How much are you propped here? Them ones are seven pound each. This one's ten. That's twenty. Okay. And by that one there, is that seven as well. Yes, no. Fairly warm, mate. Oh, yeah? It's too fairly warm. How much? What do you want for those, Sarah? Oh, tenner. Ten. Uh, you got any other shoes, or is that it? Got more shoes, Lots Sarah? Of shoes. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Loads yeah. Of oh, you got them. Yeah. They were slowing the machine this morning, I'm afraid. Yeah, I know. Same as last week. Oh, we were really? out on the road last week, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was a nightmare. What about those ones? But how much are them? Fifteen. Fifteen. They're brand new, they've never been <clears> out of the box. I'll probably do 10 most, but... It's all right, we can have 10. Yeah, I'll do yeah. it. Right there you go, first purchase of the morning. Yeah. First sale of the morning. Yeah. Thank you very much. Didn't think I was going to get anything today, to be honest. Yeah. You never know. Ooh, that's 10 there. Cheers, man. Brilliant, cheers. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Got any other boxed ones? Yeah. They... Yeah. I might take them. <laughs> uh, I'll leave those ones. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll grab that as well. Yeah, I'll take them. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Right, mate. Brilliant, thanks. Check us out before you leave. We've still got some more stuff. Okay, yeah. Well. More shoes. <laughs> <laughs> We've got loads of men's shoes. Well, this one's brand new as well. Or? Yeah, yeah, these yeah. are all brand new. Never been out of the box. How much you got on that there, the um, little dinosaur? Sorry. How much you got on that dinosaur thing? Let's have a look at him. It's the robot, robot dinosaur, isn't it? Oh yeah. Let's have a quick look. Fiver. Five. Do you know if it's working or not? Uh, I'd say it is. It came out of a lock thing, so. Okay, yeah. Um, let's have a quick look in the bag. I might take that. Yeah. Have, have, a look. have a look through. Oh. Hello there. That's a bargain for the woman doing the food. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take that then. Yeah, Five okay. I think you got a bargain. Yeah. Good man. <laughs> For that one there. <coughs> Would a fiver be okay? Five. I'll do three on it. I'll right, do it. Okay, drop. Yeah, take that. Uh, there you go, three quid. Lovely. Thanks, Cheers. Oh, I've seen one of those. Let's power up. Yeah. I don't know if that's supposed to spin or not. <laughs> it is indeed. It's three quid. Like the yeah. It might be like a band. Oh, uh, look, it might be like there, look. Like. Well, maybe, yeah. Uh, take it back. Yeah, but. Yeah, three quid. <laughs> I'll sell it. Yeah, a few pairs of shoes, brand new. And a dinosaur, which I've already got. Two of them, man, I've sold it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You've got the controller, is it? Yeah, it's got the controller. That sells like 20 quid alone. Oh, I took them out of the bag already. <laughs> Where are you ahead of you? He's already That'd be a quid. <laughs> They're already mine, yeah. Well, they'll probably sell still, to be honest. Take them. Honestly, nah, they'll sell. Them. Yeah, nah. like I've got too many. I'll take that one, it's pretty good. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, it's really strong. How much are the Timberlands? 20. 20. Yeah, yeah. Look through. See that? No. Oh, you got a boy. I just want the lock. The lock, yeah. Oh, all that. I'm not putting my phone. I'm not putting my phone. Sorry? No, not like Spy camera. <laughs> that's interesting. How it's working. I'm not too interested, guys. Nice. Not from that one. Yeah, <laughs> the one that picked up. The one in your hand. Well, so any, any I'm a nice guy. I've already got it, so no, yeah. I have a lot of these. They've got to be a minimum price ready. Yeah. Three for a tenner. Three for a tenner. Yeah, those three. Is there a fiver for these two? <laughs> That's one of the better ones as well. Six, price of six, yeah. Go ahead. Well, they can be interesting. <laughs> Big box PC. Oh, yeah. I'll try and remember it. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Thank you. you. can't forget that. Jammy oh, yeah. Dodger. Jeremy Dodger. Jeremy Dodger. The posh version. <laughs> Jeremy Dodger. What would you do? Would you actually go home and open it or would you just declare oh, it? Brand I'll, new? I'll still open it. No, I've got to check it out. No, you no. won't keep that shut. People I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, man. It's probably been smashed yeah, on there. Yeah, there's a slab in it. Yeah. Look, <laughs> look. How uh, clean is that? That's the same. Look, I wouldn't do that, man. Fankers, and you wouldn't find one like that. Take, I'd put out for one one twenty if I was you, just like that, and take a chance. Your tape gun's really good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fine. that's alright. I'll just take that then. You going fifteen on that still? Yeah. Yeah. Of five reeks, so go ahead if you want. Yeah. So I got a remote in it. Yeah, Dr. Spells. I don't know. Put it Cheers. Did you check the wall? Now I'm picking yeah. them all up Cheers, now. Man. Now it's your sealed game. Yeah, we only buy fake stars, right? Fake stars, fake stars. There's a fiver. Thank you. No. Yeah. <laughs> Could you sell those two separately? Yeah. Those two games? Um, no. Pound each? No. no. Two, two each? Two, two each. each. What about three? Would you go three? Meet in the middle? Yeah, exactly. I'll take them. Cheers. Thank Old bargain so thing. How much on these trainers there? 15. 15. Yeah. Would you go 10 on them? No, I couldn't. No. no. 12 or? I couldn't. 15, 15, 15 your best? Yeah. Well, they are effectively new. Yeah, they're yeah. pretty nice. I'll take them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Wednesday morning, I've just been to a car boot sale. Not too bad to be honest, I, there was about one and a half lanes full of cars and maybe about 10 to 15 cars in total, so not a lot. It is Wednesday morning, most people are at work, it's mostly just house clearance people and uh, resellers in the field, but of course there's still plenty to find. Uh, most of this I actually got from one guy, just a 
kind of contact now, I guess. I've kind of met him a few times at the car boot and yeah, I'm doing all right from him so far. I'm going to go over now exactly what I found and the prices I paid and hopefully how much I can get back for it in return. So I'll start off with this bag here. Obviously, good old IKEA bag. First pickup, bit of a fail. I saw it, it's brand new and sealed. It's a Nintendo Wii Zumba. And I just got it because it was brand new and sealed really. It had a little three pound price tag on it. So I paid three pound for it, thinking it'd be worth maybe 15 quid, but it looks more like brand new and sealed. These are going for about eight, eight to nine pound with free postage. So not too great, bit of a fail. And this one here, this is a Hornby jet engine. You can hear it starting up. But nothing really happens. I think they're all supposed to spin. So I paid three pounds for it. Maybe sell it spares repair. I'm sure there might be some collector out there who wants this on their shelf. Give it a good clean up. Maybe try and repair it myself. Maybe it's the brushes or something inside there that have worn and it's not spinning. So a bit of a fail there probably. Next we have two pairs of Clarks. These are brand new in box. These are really quite nice. They're just brown suede or tan suede slip-ons. And the other pair, just black leather, black leather slip-ons. There we go. And for them I paid £10 each. They wanted 15 each, so £20 in two pairs of Clarks. Usually in the shops they're selling for what, 35, 40 quid. So on eBay, 30 quid each maybe. I did pick up another one of these dinos, dino raptors. I think this is a version two. You can tell by the little light on the remote there. I only got this. I've got one listed at the moment on the shelf up there. I don't know if you can see it. But I paid a fiver for this one. And I got it because when I was researching my other one I had for sale, I saw that these controllers were going for about 20 to 25 pound on their own. So I was pretty happy to risk my fiver on that. Next up, another pair of shoes. These are Adidas Powerlift weightlifting shoes. There you go. Try and get the light on it a bit. So they look brand new to be honest. Give them a little clean up on the bottoms. Yeah, this same lady is at the car boot every Wednesday. She always charges quite a lot for her shoes, but they're usually brand new and in really good condition. So I'm pretty happy to pay the sort of 10 to 15 pounds she usually asks. I did check solds and looking at about 40 to 45 pound on these ones. Maybe a bit high, maybe in the 50s. We'll wait and see. Next up, this was all from the house clearance guy. He's a pretty good contact now and I see him at most Wednesday and Sunday car boots I go to. Uh, so yeah, we always get chatting and he's always got a few little bits for me. I paid £6 for brand new and sealed Xbox 360 webcam. It's probably not the most desirable sort of model or anything, but people like it because it's new and sealed. They usually just stick it on a shelf, put it on display. And then I paid a pound for Tekken on the PS1. And it's all got the manual. It's got the original disc, obviously. And it all looks pretty scratch free as well. So shouldn't have to even test that to be honest. That'll probably just sell maybe 12 to 15 pound. And I haven't actually checked souls on that, but I'm hoping around 15. This one's a bit of a random one. It is just an Xbox one terabyte. Is it Xbox one? Uh, Xbox X series. I have no idea with Xbox. I'm more of a PlayStation, Nintendo sort of guy. This is literally just the box on its own, completely empty. It might, I'm assuming it's got all the inserts and stuff in there. I haven't even opened it up yet. But I managed to get that off him for a fiver, so pretty happy with that one. I've sold empty boxes in the past. They usually go for a real, oh, depending on what it is. I've sold a really rare Sega box before for £170, I think it was. That was last year. I'll try and show you a screenshot now of that. But that was a mental sale. A bit more of a modern sort of console. So probably 25 to 30 on that one, just for the box. And I noticed it was a one terabyte before buying it, so that probably adds a little bit of uh, value to it. I did get these Wii games as well. These weren't from the house clearance guy, just someone else at the car boot. Paid three pounds for the two of them. Wii Sports Resort and Donkey Kong Country Returns. Probably 6 dollars 6 maybe. I need to check solds again. We'll show you on the screen. And then back to the house clearance guy. Got this book of spells. Always look out for these because very rarely they actually come complete, but this one looks to be completely unused. Obviously you've got the book there, which I believe does sell separately. But then in here, you've got, you've got the game, you've got the motion controller and the camera. So back in COVID times, I was selling these motion controllers for about 55 to 60 pound each. They've completely dipped in value. You can probably get about 25 just for the controller alone. And then probably sell the camera separately, maybe for a tenner. But I'll just 
probably just bundle it as one big hole with the game. Assuming it's all in there. Yeah. Game's all scratch free. I did think this was sealed, but it's not, unfortunately. I did have to pay a tenner as well for that, so kind of paying up for it. But he gave me a good deal on all the other stuff, so I was pretty happy to do that. Yeah, you've got the original box as well, so it's probably best I just sell it all together. And lastly, this is a Sony combi player. VHS DVD combi. I paid him £15 for this one. It is sealed though, I think. Still got the original tape going up it. But then you look on the bottom, it's got the original tape, but it looks like it's been cut on the bottom here. If you can see that, there you go. But then that side is still sealed. So I'm kind of torn in between what to do. I might just open it up because it is quite rattly in there. I kind of want to just open it up and show you exactly what's in there. And if it's all sealed still, I can probably reach for the sort of similar price I was going to get just leaving it as it is. But people pay silly money for these brand new and sealed. It's crazy. To get it in its original box, all brand new and sealed, it's very hard to do these days. Uh, yeah, so £15. Even if it's broken, spares repair, you're looking at Paul, probably £35, £40. So yeah, I've made up my mind. I'm actually going to rip this open now on camera. Don't hate me in the comments. <laughs> if, it, if the box was in better condition and it wasn't all rattling around inside, I probably would have left it sealed and sold it as a brand new sealed item. But I don't want to risk it. I don't want someone receiving it, opening it up when they get home, when, when it arrives with them and realising that it's all beaten up and not damaged. So if Johnny and Jay are watching from the car boot, this is what's actually inside the box. <laughs> so here we go. There we have it. There's the remote. Brand new in wrapper. You've got the instructions. Got the cables there. I'm actually pretty relieved I've done this. Uh, the knocking around was probably just a remote going up and down like that. But it's worth doing this because it, you can still see it's brand new and sealed. There won't be any scratches on it or anything like that. But I'm just pleased. It's peace of mind. I've now opened it. Look at the listing and see that it's not just a beaten up machine inside the box. Uh, yeah, I might have lost a little bit of money by opening it, but that's all part of it. It saves me having to return someone, let's say, 150, 200 quid if they receive it and it's all beaten up. And I just don't want to take that risk these days, especially when <laughs> I'm full time. So I'll get it out now and show you exactly what I've got. Okay, guys, so here we go. We've got the VHS player. It is completely brand new. It's never been opened. It's still in the little foam sort of wrapping here. I will rewrap re it like this, just so the buyer knows it's unused. And you can see there, it's even got the plug all wrapped up with the little cable there, the tape on it there. And there we have it. Nice and shiny and beautiful. And there's no seam damage. I just wasn't sure if the top of the VHS player was going to have like a massive dent in it because the box had a sort of indent in it. I just didn't want to risk it. So I could have just sold this brand new and sealed, but I've now opened it. Don't hate me in the comments. I know some of you probably will. <laughs> there we go. And from £15 invested, I will wrap this up again. Take nice clear photos of it all wrapped up with the box open so the buyer can see exactly what they're getting. They'll see the remote still wrapped up. They'll see this seller tape on here showing that it's never even been plugged in before. I'm sure I can pretty much aim for the exact same price I would have got if it was completely sealed. Okay guys, so that's what I've got for you today. Uh, yeah, pretty small car boot, but obviously that one item there definitely saved the day. I'll be aiming for about 160 to maybe 200 pound on that one just because it's got all the original stuff and believe it or not there are actually collectors out there who really want that sort of gear i will see you in the next video hope you enjoyed that one hopefully sunday we'll be back in the field again i think it's a bank holiday monday as well so hopefully another car boot video then we'll see you in the next one goodbye